Okay guys, uh, Dirk the Engineer here. Um, I am just finishing up uh, manufacturing the pogo pin holders, the holder bolts, and you can see uh, what I've got here. Uh, so essentially what I did, I just uh, uh, countersink uh, a little bit of a hole because it turns out that uh, the one inch bolt is just slightly longer than the shank on this uh, pogo pin but uh, then I just slightly oversized the hole so I could get this uh, in here um, it's a little hard to do with one, just one hand I got it there so that's where it'll sit and you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see I can see, maybe you'll be able to see that the end sticks out there and uh, that will provide me the room I need to attach a wire so I'll solder something on there and then I'll get a little dab of super glue around the tip of the ring there and um, and I should be good this, these things compress okay of course they're not going to stay in place without the super glue but that's the idea and uh, if you want to get an idea of cost, uh, these pogo pins, you can find them on eBay. I had to order them from Hong Kong, otherwise they would have been like $10 for a pack of five or something like that. But um, I got these from eBay, uh, I can't remember the name of the seller, but uh, uh, I got a pack of ten of them, I want to say for like $4. I'll have to double check that. Um, so I know that they worked out to be with shipping. I think they were about 25 cents a piece, something like that. Um, so that's really cheap. The nuts, the, these bolts from the big box store were uh, about 25 cents each. And uh, if you would work out the cut for the... Uh, amount of material I need here I couldn't buy just a short length um, it probably amounts to about 50 cents per uh, panel or per uh, not panel but per uh, uh, homing stop so a little bit of time not too hard um, so what I tried to do for setup uh, here to make it easy I, I have some one by two by three machinist blocks I just carpet tape it taped them down to the surface and then carpet taped a scrap of half inch ply that I had and then uh, I took the uh, uh, three sixteenths um, up cut spiral bit and milled a hole these were my attempts with trying to drill with a regular drill press dr drill bits that didn't work very well they were oversized anyway I finally just decided that uh, I would do that with the bit and uh, basically just uh, made it a couple thousandths undersized from what I measured on the average diameter and then uh, I've got a nut underneath there and that just holds it in place and it can bore out the hole as it needs to so um, I found that uh, these with the nylon uh, about 1200 uh, or 12,000 RPMs uh, feed rate of 100 inches per second was about what I needed to get uh, good chips to come and not melt the uh, uh, material so uh, this is the last one I gotta do so I'm just gonna cycle start everything and let it go <laughs> And that's it. Uh, those are all done. So tomorrow I'll start uh, work on making the brackets for for this. But uh, I think for about twenty-five dollars, I'm going to have a set of uh, um, like contact switch type limit switches. Um, so really cheap. I think these will be really quite accurate as well. Um, 
and uh, give it a try and uh, let you know how it works. So maybe you could do the same thing. Um, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.